Okay, thank you. I'm Philip Kearney and I'm the outgoing <laughs> chair of the Task Force on Public Participation. And as you would have heard in my report yesterday, there were three major areas that the task force has been working on. One has been sectoral meetings, where we've had joint meetings with different sectors, including water and health, the nuclear sector, and strategic environmental assessment. And I'm very pleased that in the future work plan of the task force is to continue this focus, because this gives an opportunity to really examine public participation in these particular sectors and develop good practice there. The second major activity, and perhaps the most important, was to develop recommendations on public participation. And this was done throughout the three meetings of the task force. There were 1,700 comments and uh, contributions from different parties. And um, it, we now have produced an extensive document which covers articles 6, 7, and 8 of the convention and is available now for both public officials to use but also for the public at large to use in public participation procedures. So in a sense this is the most significant output of the, the last session of the task force. And the third item is case studies of good practice. And I'm really glad of the opportunity to say to the um, NGO sector, please send in your case studies to the database that's being produced by the Secretariat. It's really important to receive those case studies of good practice and not so good practice. It's really, we really urge you to send in your experience of using particip public participation. How's that?